Hello, hello, hello. It's Stephanie here coming to you live and direct from my new page. And today I want to talk about something that I really, honest to goodness, did not believe when I first heard it, thought it wasn't true. And I want to share it with you because it's it's a game changer. Um, I listened, I listened, as I was saying yesterday, to Brooke Castillo's Life Coach School podcast, and really, it's life changing. The ideas in that podcast are phenomenal. And so I'm going to be trying out some of these ideas over the next few days and weeks. And I'm going to take you along for the ride, see what you think. I'm going to share these ideas with you. And let me know um, what you think, if you've tried them or, or what works for you. Now, um, over the next year, well, the next two years, we've got some big goals. And so we're busy. There's so much to do. The to-do lists are uh, crazy. Um, I've been using Asana, but I also I like to use written to-do lists as well. So when Brooke talked about this idea of how to throw away your to-do list, I was super skeptical. But I listened. And this is what she suggested. It is that you, first of all, write down everything that's on your mind, all of the things that you need to do from, um, you know, getting a cleaner to um, doing your ironing, everything. You write everything out of your brain onto a piece of paper. Uh, she says suggests a piece of paper because it's a different kind of feel to it. And I kind of agree with that. And then once you've got everything out, you then ask, is there anything else? Is there anything else that I need to do? Is there anything else? And you write all those other things down onto your piece of paper. And when you've got everything on your piece of paper, you then uh, go to your Google Calendar and you, or whatever you use, and add each task onto the calendar with a date and a time to it. And you might be thinking, that's all very well, but when they're on my calendar, I won't do them. And that's the magic of, of uh, Brooks, what Brooks says. This is when Brooke really talks about, once all of those items are on your calendar, you put on there everything. You put your free time and you put your work time. And within your work time, each bit is... is um, so for example, I have these videos, recording these videos now on my calendar. I've got writing to my VA and updating on my calendar. Then I'm gonna be writing a presentation, that's now on my calendar. It used to be on the to-do list, but now we're giving it the actual time and space. So um, you write down everything, you ask yourself, is there anything more? Your brain should be totally uh, empty as far as to do is concerned everything should be on your paper and then I missed out a step you're taking anything out which you don't want to do or you don't need to do or somebody else you've got somebody else to do you removing all that from the list and what's left are the things that you want to do the things that you want to commit to you put those on your calendars they've all got a date and a time so Again, I was still skeptical at this point because I don't like working that way. I've tried this before. But then what I really loved is that Brooke then said, then is the important bit. You've got to show up for yourself every day and do the things on your calendar. And um, what she said was then, because I thought, well, how do you know how long things are going to take? And she says, well, don't be reactive. Be proactive. So you say, right, I'm going to write that blog post. I'm going to write that article and it's going to take me 40 minutes. It's going to take me an hour. You decide rather than be dictated and let it take three hours or however long. You let it take as long as you want it to take. And if it's going to take longer, then you say, okay, I'm cutting into my free time. So um, I really love that idea. Let me know what you think of that idea. Have you tried it before? Do you actually put all of your tasks onto your calendar? I think it's quite powerful. I'm going to be working with this and I'm going to report back to you um, what I think. But I love this idea. And the really important part of it is the showing up for yourself, making these appointments to do things that I've 
added to my calendar as important as if I was meeting up with somebody, as important as if I was um, going to a meeting, as important if there was somebody else involved. That means I'm showing up for myself in a different way that I wasn't doing before. And the confidence that that brings, knowing that you're going to show up and you're going to deliver and you're going to deliver certain certain outputs at certain times that you prearranged with yourself. I think it's very, very powerful. And I'm interested to know what you think. Have you tried it? And I'll be uh, reporting. I've really enjoyed it so far. And I'll be reporting back once I've been doing it for a little bit longer. Okay, see you soon. Bye for now.